Hello all, today is day 14 of the Write It series for Black History Month. Let it be known that the official too long name of this blog is People of the African Diaspora in Period and Costume Films. And so I wanted to make sure that this Write It series was kind of even in that. So today's subjects are these three beautiful women from Guadalupe. The title of this picture is Three Women from Guadalupe. The portraits from Ellis Island taken by Augustus Sherman. Now, Augustus Sherman has an entire collection of these pictures of newly arrived immigrants at Ellis Island. He was a clerk there from 1892 to 1925. And although he was untrained, the pictures are beautiful. He was highly, he was very gifted as a photographer. Their wonderful documentation of the cultural garbs and costumes of those arriving in Ellis Island between those years. It's an awesome collection. I'll have a link to them down below if you wanna check them out. Now, the awesome thing about these three women is that one of them got a close up. She appears to be wearing the same hat. Now, I don't know if it's called, technically called the hat. Um, I don't, I wouldn't call it necessarily a head wrap, but that might be what it is. And she's also appears to have the same necklace and pattern of her dress. So it's nice to see what it looks like up close as well as far away. They're beautifully dressed. And so if we got a film, it'd be interesting to see who they would get to costume, to costume it, because that'd be nice. When looking up them, when looking at their picture, I tried to find more information out about them. All I could find was that they were actually en route to Montreal, Canada. So when doing a story or film or series about them, the question becomes, did they make it to Montreal? Did they change their mind? Did they, um, were these three women sisters? Was one of their mother? Were they cousins? Were they just friends? What was life like while they were in Ellis Island? Many of the people in these photographs by Sherman were detainees waiting for money, travel tickets, or someone to come and pick them up from the island. Once the immigrants were approved, they spent between three to five hours on the island where they underwent medical examinations, were asked questions about their jobs, about the money they had. And um, it's very important to note that it was better for them to come with a sum that they could, with a sum of money that they could actually provide for themselves once they left Ellis Island. So all of those things are important to take into consideration when trying to expand these three women's stories and add layers. So the question becomes, what type of story should be told about them? Ellis Island was a gateway for more than 12 million immigrants. Around 100,000 immigrants of African descent passed through Ellis Island between 1900 and 1920, most of them from the Caribbean and Cape Verde. What were these three ladies' stories? They don't represent all of these immigrants. They're just dumb singular. So how would you tell their story? I would like to see what their life was like in Guadalupe before they arrived. I wanna see what their life was like on Ellis Island. And I wanna see what they did once they arrived, once they left Ellis Island or once they made it to Montreal. Did they make it? What were their dreams and aspirations? There's so many ways you could go to tell these three beautiful women's stories. These three women from Guadalupe spent time on Ellis Island. Their picture is evidence to that. Beautifully dressed and full of elegance, they deserve their own story. I wanna see an Edwardian story about these three beautiful women from Guadalupe. Someone should write it. <laughs>